Welcome back to Uncreated Crowd. It has been a long time since I have said that. Oh my goodness, I haven't filmed in like three or four months. And one of the reasons I haven't filmed is one, I don't really have a whole lot of new products. And two, I just moved into a new house. And so I am actually in the garage right now and you can probably see that I'm sweating, kind of, because it's a bit warm in here. I believe this is the very first video that I am not wearing a plaid shirt. Today we have a box, a small, unlabeled, unmarked box. I wonder what's in it. <gasps> it is. You can't even tell what it is because it's just a sheet of paper, isn't it? It's pretty fancy. Welcome to Wazoo. So this is actually the cash belt by Wazoo Survival Gear, originally funded on Kickstarter over a year ago. But with crowdfunding, that's just kind of the way it goes. Um, there's a lot of different issues that tend to come up in manufacturing, and shipping and all that stuff, so here we are. But what's so special about this belt? Well, let me show you. What's so special about this particular belt and why did I back this? Well, it is called the cash belt, a hiding place especially for concealing and preserving provisions or implements to a secure place of storage. So this belt has storage space within it. It's a survival belt, you know, it's got some space that you can store um, different types of supplies in it for if you're, say, out in the wild or you're on the run, if you're a fugitive, you might want to turn yourself in before you, you really get in deep. So this is the belt and then, yep, the top has Velcro. Oh my goodness, come on. And then, bam, storage space here to here. This is all of the length that actually has open space. So if you were to purchase this, you can actually purchase like different kits that they have prepackaged that comes with a whole bunch of different supplies that you can load this up with. However, I got the cheapest one, the minimalist. So it is completely empty and I can do with it whatever I'd like. But you can see here, it does have these loops um, and it does come with a little tiny carabiner. And it does have two of these gear loops on either side. I'm gonna stand up, give it a try and see how it fits. But first I gotta take off my blue alpha gear. If you remember, that was like way, there's like a year ago, I think. Fantastic belt though, still use it. This is a solid belt buckle, my goodness. Oh man, actually these gear loops are like perfectly placed. With these gear loops, you can let anything just dangle. So the gear loops feel like they can hold actually pretty significant amount of weight. I'm just trying to pull on them while it's on and they're not budging whatsoever. In the buckle here, pop it open and there is a bottle opener there. And then it also looks like you can adjust this back here so you can shrink it up. If you lose some weight, makes it a little easier and you don't have as much of a tail hanging out the other end then. The belt itself seems pretty darn sturdy. Um, not nearly as sturdy and stable as the Blue Alpha gear that I have been using. However, this has the added utility of the extra space. This truly is designed for more survival type uh, situations where you know you've got some fish hooks, you've got a uh, fishing line or little pieces of flint. You know, those smaller things that do come in handy. I've got this ammo can with a whole bunch of small things. So obviously this is too big, but I mean, to throw some like fire starter stuff in a little baggie, throw it in there. I, don't, I got these years ago, they're little instant towels that are like this, you drop it in water or pour some water on it and it expands into like a decent sized towel. Could throw a couple of those in there. Oh yeah, see that won't even, I can't even get it to fully Velcro closed. They're not dropping out, so I'm gonna leave them there. Got some paracord, we can try throwing that in there. I've got two mini glow sticks, we'll throw that in there. Got a little pocket knife. And then also, um, they sent along a little water bag. Now I will say, um, the experience of using this Velcro is a bit tough um, because, you know, Velcro catches on stuff. Um, you can see there's varying thicknesses in the belt, obviously, because there's different thicknesses of uh, materials that I'm putting in. Okay, there we go. It's on, everything is in it. So I don't know, how's it look? I mean, obviously it's a bit, bit bulky back there. And then on the side here is where I have the small pocket knife, which is kind of showing there. Um, however, it's there, it's flat. It doesn't really bother me though. Fairly easy access to that then. 
see how it holds up with a firearm on front. Seems to be good. Now initially I was wondering if I would be able to quickly access um, everything without taking my belt off. However, I, eh, let's see, I think I might be able to get to some things, but not everything. So back here we've got the, the towelettes. Ooh, towel. I believe this side is where I have the paracord. Oh man, see this Velcro is, ah oh, man, it's kind of hard to get in there. Um, but bam, paracord. That was decently easy to access everything, uh, or at least the few things that I tried to access. However, it's not very quiet or yeah, it's not that quiet because it is Velcro. So you hear it opening. Um, I'd say it's not very easy to do it unnoticed. So if it was like survival type situation that you were trying to be quiet and stealthy, probably not the best. However, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, it'd probably work for you. And it seems to be holding up well with uh, my firearm on the front there. I'd say still not as great as the Alpha Gear, the blue Alpha Gear. Totally different use case uh, between the two. So the current retail price of the cash belt in the minimalist form, which is exactly what I have here, um, just the belt, no extra accessories or anything, is $35. And then they have two add-on packages, the Essentials and the Adventure Pack. The Essentials has, you know, like basic stuff. The Adventure has even more stuff for, you know, going out on adventures. Um, and so the retail price of those are 75 for the belt and the essentials pack, and then 115 for the adventure pack. Overall, you got the three different levels, 35, 75, 115 US dollars. I'd say it's a decent deal. Besides the Velcro, I wish they could have done something that was a little thinner, um, as well as quieter, you know, easier to access. In the total height of the belt, I'd say you've got what? An inch, maybe an inch and a half. But the Velcro itself takes up quarter inch, um, not including the bottom seam. So if they could have replaced the Velcro with something a little quieter, a little thinner, it would definitely add more value because you'd have more space. It wouldn't be loud trying to get into it. Um, what they would do though, I'm not entirely sure. So I'm not saying I have the answers, I'm just saying, what I think would add additional value to the belt. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and let me know in the comments down below, what adventures are you going on this summer? Ooh, let me know. I'm excited to read it. And uh, with that, we will see you, um, who knows when I will be back. But I will eventually.